afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this chilly day. I just said in the yeah. intro, on this morning, didn't I? Mm, well, it is so officially it the afternoon. Like morning for yeah, you, but it's afternoon. afternoon for you girls yes. because you've been here since well, and, and it's 4 a.m. Afternoon. It's morning. afternoon for everyone, know, actually. Know. <laughs> just letting you know. But it feels like morning to me. Okay. How's that feel? That's fair. Okay. That is well, fair. That is okay, fair. Okay, so this. Slide. We'll let it slide. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is something that I thought. I don't know, we're, we're all new mm -hmm. to this station, mm -hmm. so I was thinking, have we become the office joker or maybe take long breaks if you feel like you're in a position at work could well be vulnerable. You may want to listen up. One expert says shared eight mistakes that many employees make on a daily basis that could be putting your job at risk. Now, I found this interesting because on a few of these, there are some things that I do as well, and you can also be honest too. Okay. All right. Do you <laughs> ignore the rules? This is for people in the office that ignore the company rules. I say I know. I try to follow them. <laughs> oh, you're a good girl, of course. Troy you're just say makes that. up his <laughs> own rules and then implements them on other people. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that's what I do? Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't follow them. No, <laughs> you don't follow them. You continually say, "I already know that." Um, play practical jokes. Well, I think Eric, our, our, media, our mm -hmm. other meteorologist, mm -hmm. he's now got into the habit of scaring me, and I'm very oh. easily scared. Well, we, okay. we're April Fools. That's I like fun, though. That's practical fun. jokes, too. So. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, number three is taking credit for others' work. Well, I have to say, if you do that, I think it's a bit crazy. Yeah. That's not something news people do, do they? No. <laughs> yes. Not picking up the slack. Okay, so that's people who aren't who should probably do a little bit more than what they already do. I don't know. Do we know anyone like that? I can't think of any off to mind. You're all being no, politically every, everybody, correct. No, this is becoming a very boring <laughs> topic. Okay, now, losing your temper. Hey, listen, that's me. Mm -hmm. I will honestly say that I have a short fuse. Yeah. Do you girls have a short fuse? I don't think I really have I haven't have seen that from fuse, either one no. of you. No, I'm pretty good at keeping Okay, yeah. um, using foul language. I can't stand that. No, I that's don't know. not my thing. It doesn't bother Maybe me. Maybe at home. Our <laughs> boss is peering around the corner looking at me. That's me. Yeah. Okay. No, that's not my thing. Hey, Katie. It's time for a giveaway. Have you got? There's the music. There's the music. Yeah. We're having a giveaway right now. Right now, call 859-566-3636. We're continuing our Christmas giveaways. The first two callers are going to win a $150 voucher for any service at the Anti-Aging Institute. And we love them there. So again, two callers will win that $150 voucher. Call that number there on your screen. Hey, Anti-Aging Institute is so beautiful. That's a pretty cool place. You've been there over interview. there as well, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Isn't it stunning? It when is. you walk into their foyer, it is... It's really cool. It looks like the Jetsons, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it, it does. Yes, agree? It does. It does. Yeah. Everything's okay. white and it's Well, great. what is happening with you, my friend? Have you guys finished your holiday shopping? Yes, I can officially say I've got I a know. couple of things, but I'm a... I, Send to Australia, so yeah, that's what I we're going to talk about. If, if you're sending things to relatives, oh, okay. This year, get this: the Postal Service is estimating they're going to ship 750 million holiday packages, you and now this? it's crunch time. Listen to this: in order to help Santa get those presents under the tree, so here are some deadlines you need to know if you want your gifts before Christmas. You have to get your packages to the post office by tomorrow. If you want to do standard ground delivery, that's the last day to get it there by Christmas. Now FedEx has a Friday deadline for their ground service and UPS they'll give you a couple extra days until Monday that's the 19th but that's only for the three-day select so if you need a little more time you're gonna have to be willing to shell out the big bucks for that three-day service you can even mail it up to December 23rd if you're really willing to pay to beat Santa but again if you want to do that regular ground shipping you have to get there by tomorrow. Now, are you one of those people who will wait to the last minute to send things or? I have to be honest with you, Elise. I'm, okay. I'm a planner. You, I think you should know me by yeah. now. <laughs> I plan ahead. I'm already thinking about April next year oh, in gotcha. my mind. Oh. But I will say to you <laughs> that mm. I was shocked last week. I did want to send something to Australia and a magazine, it was over $100 to have it shipped. Just for a magazine. One magazine oh my because of the, the hike in the pricing. Hmm. I told them to keep the magazine at the <laughs> post office where I was, and I went and bought my friend a subscription for two years for $80. So wow, good deal. they're tickled pink. See, I'd be too nervous to wait to send it that close to Christmas. 
I like to plan things too. That's yeah. why I've got all of my Christmas shopping out of the way. Just yeah, waiting that close to Christmas. But and be we nervous. need to use these services because we're not from this area. So we have to ship back to our homes, yeah, sure. yeah. and yeah. friends, because we don't really know anyone. Or here. if I have done, <laughs> drive it there in person. Oh, you're weekend. driving it there. Yeah. Good job. We, most of us will still see see the people. Good yeah. job. Or if you do yeah. online shopping, just send it right to. Yeah, you. I okay. do a lot of online. Shopping. At least I'm yeah, looking forward works. to seeing what you've got for us. Well, keeping with the holiday tradition, uh -huh. you were asking last week about where to go to see some lights. Yeah. Well, I don't know of any spots necessarily here in Lexington, but you know our freelance meteorologist, George Brecky. Of course. He lives in Cincinnati, and he always goes all out he with does? his house for Christmas decorations. Wow. There is a Are look Are you kidding me? House. This is his house? Can you guys guess how many lights he puts on his house? Um, maybe, I, uh, to be honest with you, I don't want to lie and say I'd know. About a little over 50,000 lights. Wow. And he does this himself? Yes, he George does. George does it himself. I believe he does it every year. It is absolutely fantastic. So Can I just say, what a commitment. Yeah. And he's got, I, I think he's got some words on the top of his house, and I think there's some lettering that says peace on earth in his front yard. So really cool. Yeah, way uh, more dedicated than I would I be. think it's absolutely <laughs> I have a little amazing. tiny Christmas uh, look, tree, that's it. We didn't do, as I said last week, we weren't big on doing that type of thing in mm -hmm. Australia. It's getting bigger now. Did you grow up with parents that decorated your house I like this? I think we maybe decorated a tr tree or two outside, but nothing crazy. Uh, my neighborhood was pretty big on it, yeah. 